Hello there. We are going to make a string guided flying bird which can fly inside house like this. For this you need bamboo sticks. The five bain sticks length are shown in the screen. You also need a five centimeter long refill pipe. Make a drill at the center and glue the longest stick at the center of the glue. Then take 0.5 mm thick copper wire bend it like a narrow u cut the length about one centimeter long and then glue the 12 centimeter long bamboo stick and tie with wires like this now from the front of this mark at two and a half centimeter and wind a copper wire there sticking it out one centimeter long 90 degree to the slot and glue it again Thus, you have to make two. These two sticks are for wings. Now I'm going to glue two sticks, the smallest sticks for tails and tie it with wires. That's the three main part ready. Now cut a three centimeter long and a four and a half centimeter long stick. Glue the three centimeter long stick about one centimeter away from the front and tie it very tightly with strings. You can put extra glue. Now glue the four and a half centimeter stick also to give it a support and tie it with, with strings to have a strong structure. Now you need one centimeter long gel pen refill. Put that 90 degree and tie with the strings. This structure needs to be very strong. Now we need a three volt DC motor. At the center of the DC motor glue a pipe and then tie with wires. This motor I am going to fit in such a way that it axis exactly pass through the gel pen refill. Take the help of a wire, glue it and tie it main body. Now take a safety pin, open it up, take the wire, bend it 90 degree, take around 1 centimeter and bend it 90 degree again. This will be the shaft. This shaft you need to connect with the motor using a coupler. I have used a small pipe as a coupler to connect the sap. Be sure it is tightly connected. Now take the two wings. Pass it through two small hole at the end of this 5 cm long refill. Pass and bend the wire on the other side. Now Make a crankshaft from a strip of plastic. Make a drill at the top. Pass a pin through it. Then put that structure through the two slot. And on the other side, cut the length, extra length of the pin. And put a small piece of pipe and glue it so that it doesn't come out. Now measure the longest length that shaft can go. Mark there. Make a drill. Cut the extra length of the crankshaft. Now pass it through the main iron shaft. Stick some bush which is nothing but the pipes. I have used the same refill pipes and glue it. Be sure it is freely moving. Now power the DC motor using a 3.7 volt LiPo battery. Connect it with the motor using a switch in series like this. Switch it on, you can see the wings frame is flapping. Now to make the wings, you need plastic. Cut it from a plastic bag. First stick the tail, center of the tail. Cut the extra plastic out like this. And then stick both the side using shello tape. Thus the bird's tail is ready. Now you can paint feather like structure there using a marker. Now for the long wing, glue the body or the spine, cut the extra plastic out and then use cello tape to glue the frame with the plastic wing. You can draw feathers with the marker like this. Now take a paper and wrap it around the motor and the battery so that nobody can see. On the top, stick a string using a cello tape. 
and then see whether it is balancing properly or not. If balancing properly, then take a length of one meter string on the other end of the string, connect a plastic and then put some double tape. Using the double tape, hang it from the ceiling. Now, if you switch it on, you can see the both the wings are flapping. If you push it, it will take its path soon and will start rotating round and round and it fly around the house. See, isn't it cool? Hope you have liked. Make your own. Bye.